For over 60 years, Gladys Knight has enjoyed tremendous success. Her magnificent voice and great artistry has enriched lives for many decades. She is motivated, inspiring, and captivating. Gladys's faith kept us strong. Our voice is uh, it's timeless. It's, it's, it's like... It's real soul. Her rich, soulful, raspy voice has managed to transcend countless musical fads. And she has achieved mainstream and international success. Every time that I have seen her, she's given me something to use throughout the rest of my life and the rest of my career. Pave the way for other female artists to feel like they can reach their dreams. I just thank you for being you. I never thought I could sing. I never thought about it. You know, I don't know how they knew but they knew my mom and my dad. My imagination. Gladys has made some of the most memorable records of our time and has been dubbed by her peers as the Empress of Soul. She is a tireless performer who still wows audiences daily all around the world. All the way from England, fantastic show. I always loved her song from day one. We come from Manchester, England, and she's absolutely fantastic. She has a beautiful voice, she has a beautiful spirit. Never seen anything like it before. Absolutely, I can't say any more. The actual show, fantastic. Being Gladys Knight, because it's more than just the music. It's my life story. is known for her recognizable and soul-stirring voice. Gladys Knight, to me, out of all the soul singers, her voice, she's probably one of the best female vocalists from that era. Gladys is sultry. She's sexy, she's beautiful, she's amazing, she's phenomenal, she's outstanding, she's religious, she's strong, but most of all, she is powerful. Gladys Knight is a Grammy Award-winning singer who has recorded nearly 40 albums and she's received numerous accolades through the years. She earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and along with the Pips was inducted into the Vocal Group Hall of Fame. They also received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Rhythm and Blues Foundation and were inducted into the Apollo Theater Hall of Fame. In 2008, she was presented with the Best Living Legend Award at the first annual BET Honors. And she also received the 2011 Soul Train Legends Award. From her humble beginnings to now, Gladys Knight has managed to remain relevant in the music industry. If it were not for you, I would not be standing here tonight receiving this award. I thank you so much because you're telling the world that I passed this way and I did something that was all right, you know? The first record that really brought my attention to her um, was I Heard It Through the Grapevine, which she did before Marvin Gaye. Hers was a really funky, up-tempo version of it. And actually, I still my favorite version of that song. Gladys brings Gladys to a song. And you know, that's profound. <laughs> that's, that, that's awesome. When Gladys brings Gladys, then that's enough. That's all it takes. When I hear my mom's voice, I just think of pleasant. You know, I don't think of that, oh, that's the jam, or, <laughs> oh boy, what was I doing to that song? Like most people do. You know, when I hear her voice, I'm like, oh, that's my mom. I never understood what people were raving about. You know, and then I used to hear them say too, she's so old for her age, you know what I mean? Her, her persona and, and the way she sings, you don't expect a four year old to have a voice like that. And I, and I used to say, mom, what voice? Through the years, Gladys Knight has been expanding the definition of her career 
Refusing to be classified as just a soul singer, her songs include a little bit of soul, rock, gospel, country, and jazz. Not many people know about Gladys Knight and the Pips' influence on hip hop. The very first music video that displayed what we call b-boying or b-boy culture, breakdancing if you will, is their 1983 hit Save the Overtime for Me. But the weirdest thing was that because I lived in a neighborhood that had no cable and my cousins lived in the suburbs, hearing them describe what they just saw, they called me like, yo, Yo, this is video, right? It's like, it's Glass Night and the Pips, right? And then next thing you know, they on the concrete, right? And then they like spin it on their heads. How are you gonna tell me that Glass Night and the Pips are spinning on top of their heads? Eventually when I saw the video, I, I was jaw dropped because yeah, it wasn't them per se. But just the fact that they embraced it, that was such a passing of the torch moment from one generation to the next that I'm probably even sure that they didn't realize the symbolism behind it. Gladys is a gifted vocalist with a rich, soulful, silky voice. She has paved the way for generations to come. Although her contemporaries may be satisfied with living in their glory days, Gladys Knight, for over 60 years, has never missed a beat. Peace. And so Don Cornelius was a very innovative individual that had dreams. This weekend, we pay tribute to a classic. I had a burning desire to see black people presented on television in a positive light. Anytime I come to Soul Train, I'm home. It's a Soul Train weekend with the premiere of the documentary Don Cornelius, visionary, trailblazer, and cultural icon. Coming up next, part of Black Music Month on Centric. Wouldn't it be cool if we took the Nissan Altima and reimagined nearly everything in it? Gave it greater horsepower and best-in-class 38 MPG highway, advanced headlights, and zero-gravity seats. Yeah, that would be cool. Introducing the completely reimagined Nissan Altima. It's our most innovative Altima ever. Nissan, innovation that excites. The best thing about Glade's Fragrance Mist isn't its delicate misty spray or that it's uniquely refillable. It's not even that it comes in lightly layered true to life scents. The best thing about Glade is the way it makes you feel. Introducing the only refillable fragrance mist from Glade. SC Johnson, a family company. so old. I know, it's so slow. I wish 4G wasn't so expensive. I heard that. I'm the 4G-ing. Boost Mobile has unlimited 4G for as low as $40 a month. Crack a lot of shine. That's how I do it. Um, mm -hmm. do I get one? You. No. Okay. We hear you. That's why we've got 4G with payments that can shrink from 55 to as low as 40 bucks a month. Boost Mobile, be heard. Hey, I'm Joey Aragon. See that film? People call me about this every day. My dishwasher must be broken. You know, it's not always the machine. It may be the detergent. Add finished power up to boost your detergent and you'll see a huge difference. Watch what it can do. Look at that sparkle. Now that's clean. Cloudiness, spots, tough stains, even dishwasher buildup, gone, just like that. So don't give up, add finished power up. Wow, see the difference. It's must have. The first offender bender, and now I'm on hold. We should switch to Allstate. Their claim service is so good, now it's guaranteed. Is that safety dance? 
Are you in good hands? Protect your right to vote. Voter suppression is real. This fall, your college ID, driver's license, even your passport could be rejected at your local polling place. Don't lose your right to vote. Vote like your life depends on it. Nine amateur millionaires striving to make it to the top and stay there. You can come up here with me, but you will not take my place. Amateur Millionaires Club premieres Saturday, July 7th at 9 on Centric. Introducing you to the next generation of R&B. Centric selects Elle Varner. I knew I wanted to be a musician when I was a little girl. Centric selects your new favorite artist, and they're delivering pure soul. Can I get a repeat? I want my music to affect listeners in the heart. I want them to feel it in their soul, and I want it to be something that goes beyond this generation. Centric Selects, the soundtrack of your life. Just listen. Visit CentricSelects.com for more. There's a revolution going on. Come here. Dude, let me... Ah! So imaginative. Here we go, here we go, here we go, go, go. No, the time for justice is always right now. The champ is here. Flick Centric, your favorite movies every weekday at 3 p.m. Eastern on Centric. The laughter you love. Get you little Miss 90s. <laughs> little Miss I'm Every Woman. I am a lady, and I'll bust anybody's head who say I'm not. The good times you miss. The moments that make you smile. Two snaps and a kiss. I you. It's happy hour and you're invited. Get happy every weeknight starting at 7, only on Centric. Gladys Marie Knight was born in Atlanta, Georgia on May 28th in 1944 to Sarah Elizabeth and Merrill Woodlaw Knight. Both of her parents were singers in the Wings Over Jordan Gospel Choir. Gladys began singing gospel music at Mount Moriah Baptist Church. At age seven, Gladys's mom, Sarah Elizabeth, wrote a letter to the Ted Max Original Amateur Hour on behalf of Gladys. Ted Mack and the Original Amateur Hour. This show was a precursor to shows like Star Search and American Idol. Miss Knight thought it would be a great opportunity for her daughter, who had been singing since the age of four. I just grew up being obedient, and when I went on Ted Max when I was seven, that was fun, because I got a chance to go to New York, and uh, my, my stone partner was with me most of the time, my brother Bubba. And in first place, for the second time, the little eight-year-old girl from Atlanta, Georgia, Gladys Knight, and here she is for her third try at the National Amateur Hour Championship. Even, even standing on this box, Gladys can't quite reach that microphone. Gladys, you, you, you said last week that uh, winning made you feel like Cinderella. You still feel that way? Yes, Mr. Mack. I can't believe all those people voted for me. Well, you can take my word for it. They made you a two-time winner. If I win tonight, I'll feel like Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, all rolled into one. You will, huh? <laughs> well, that'll be fine, just as long as you still sing like Gladys Knight. That's the only way I know how, Mr. Mack. When we would go to New York, our time away from the stage or whatever I went there to do for Ted Mack, we were just kids. We were allowed to be children with what they considered a talent. Seven-year-old Gladys performed Nat King Cole's Too Young and won first prize of $2,000. This was a time of social unrest, inequality, and discrimination towards African Americans. Yesterday is dead and gone. 
While these conditions were not ideal, seven-year-old Gladys sang her way to a better place. Despite the odds, Gladys Knight and the Pips were a musical phenomenon. The original members were sisters, Gladys and Brenda Knight, brother, Merrill Bubba Knight, and cousins, Eleanor and William Guest. In 1957, at the time when Martin Luther King was starting the Southern Christian Leadership Conference,